our sleep boosters. Exercise. And the exercise that is the most powerful is your high intensity interval training. So another booster is sleeping in the dark. Make sure the lights are turned off. Now that brings us to something else that's not an electric light. What's that? <laughs> that's your technology. The light coming from the sunlight is blue light. And when we allow our eyes to have sunlight through the day, I never suggest you look at the sun, but just being outside, the ultraviolet rays come through neurochemical pathways into the pineal gland and they help to reset that body clock. In fact, Dr. Neil Nedley in his book, uh, Depression A Way Out, he found that 80% of his patients that had depression, their circadian rhythm is out. He found that the first hour of light in the day, that morning light resets your circadian rhythm. So not only do we need to sleep in the dark, our eyes need sunshine in the day especially that early morning. So that's a great time to do your morning exercise. The only time you're going to be able to get up to do that morning exercise and catch the early morning night is if you go to bed early. We have to put here early nights. Be thankful. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. If you can't sleep, be thankful. Thank God that you're in a comfortable bed. Thank God that you've got eyes that see and legs that work. Nutrition. It's important to be eating, and we've looked at this a few times. High fiber, generous proteins, and your healthy fats. What can also boost sleep is a hot shower just before bed or a hot bath. And if you have a hot bath, in that hot bath, you can put um, Epsom salts, some lavender, essential oil, or if you're growing lavender, you can throw half a dozen sticks of lavender into your bath. So this is what you can do to boost sleep.